What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2023. I love this time of year. It's always like a time to like think about the whole year, think about the last year. What am I gonna do differently? How am I gonna get better? Uh, so hopefully you guys are having a good time and had a good last year, this year. Excited to have you along for this year. Today's video, I gotta make a set of plates. So I have a couple different orders for dinnerware sets. Uh, this one is for my sister. So when she got married, I made her a set of plates, uh, a set of plates and bowls and everything for her kitchen. Need some new ones, or she wants some new ones, because those were a long time ago. I wasn't very good. I have way more glaze options now. Uh, so I gave her a, eight dinner plates for Christmas because I knew she wanted them. And then she said, what would it cost me to just do it all? To do bowls, small bowls, small plates. Anyway, so this video, I'm gonna throw the plates, which plates are uh, annoying to put it bluntly. Basically, they take up a lot of space in the kiln. They have a lot of issues. Often they will have S cracks, they'll have warping. Uh, so you have, tend to have to throw, you know, if you want eight good ones, you might have to throw 12. There's a couple tips and tricks to minimize the waste that I'll try and go through. Um, but basically I'm gonna make them with buff stoneware, which is a different clay than I normally use. So before we get too far into the video, I do wanna just say that I wanna make more videos this year. I wanna make more tutorial information. I wanna make more just anything, everything. Kinda get back to where I used to be. Um, in terms of making at least a video a week, gotta get some plates made. So I thought might as well make a video about it. Buff stoneware. So the other thing about plates is they take way more clay than you think they should, right? Like a 12 inch dinner plate might be three and a half or four pounds. I never wear my ring, but I'm wearing a ring right now. I'm taking it off. Probably won't put it on for the rest of the year. <laughs> Haven't thrown in a few weeks, which feels good. Okay, so that's six pounds. So basically I'm gonna start with right around three pounds. She wants like not 12 inch dinner plates, 10 inch or so. You know, normally I would throw on a bat like this and some people don't throw on bats at all, but you really do need to throw on a bat for a plate. These bats are 12 inches. So if I want these plates to end up about 10-ish inches, then I'm gonna throw them just between about 11 and 11 and a half. Uh, because this, and then with the shrinkage, it'll get down to about 10. I clean my wheel-ish, it's kind of clean. All right, well, turns out here's my first plate. Forgot to hit record. So we will throw another one and I will talk about it. But that's kind of our first initial shape that I threw. Uh, I used calipers to measure it. So now for the next seven plates, we can uh, throw right out to that size. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is center it. Uh, I will cone up and then cone down and then I'll start with it kind of as a flat surface when it's totally centered. Coning up and coning down helps it to get really centered and then also helps to wedge it up a little more so you really homogenize the clay um, and then it helps just with the rest of the throwing process. So then I wanna get it centered really flat. So I just use this part of my hand to get really flat across the top. And what I do for plates is I just take my fist and just push it right down in the middle to flatten it. And I'm using basically this whole part of my hand to keep it so that it's flat. And then I'll use my fingers and my fist to open it up. Like that. Or what I'm thinking about when I'm doing this is making sure that this doesn't get too thin and that we have a consistent even thickness from here all the way out to here until we start making that lip at the edge. So now I'll take a sponge just so I keep it wet. All right, so then that's good. You can take a needle tool and test how thick it is. So we got about, you know, half inch or so, which is good. I don't really want to get any more. I don't want to get any thinner. And then if I want to help even out the base of it, I can take a, a metal rib. Do that. And then I'll start working on the lip. So I'm just gonna take my finger underneath with my finger on top and just kind of pinch together as we start to create that lip. And I'm really kind of trying to just 
basically you don't have to pull up at all. You're just pinching a little bit and then maybe bringing it out just a tiny bit. So then I'm gonna take my calipers, check. We are right there. That's almost exactly the size of our other one. All right, and I might just run this metal rib over it one more time to make sure we're really even thickness all the way throughout. Take my sponge, dry it off. We don't want any of that wet slip sitting on there for too long. All right, and then I think we're just about done. And then one thing that I do sometimes and other times I don't do it is cutting the pot off the bat while it's on the wheel. And I've heard that sometimes this is a good idea to do and it can help prevent warpage. So I'm gonna try it on these plates and see. But while it's spinning, if you can cut it off, kind of difficult with plates. So as it was spinning, I cut it off because when you just go straight front to back, sometimes that can put a lot of drag on it and then the clay will remember that and kind of warp that way. Again, I don't always do that and I'm not even sure if that's that big a deal. Um, comment below if you know. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. But there you go, there is throwing a dinner plate. Got all the plates finished. Uh, so there's like nine plates that I threw. Should probably throw a couple more, but that was all the clay that I got ready. Threw also the smaller plates too. So I threw, these are gonna end up being about 10 inches and then the smaller ones will end up being about eight inches, I believe. Uh, it's a little bit of a mystery until it's all done. But uh, so there it is. There's the first video of 2023. Thank you guys so much for joining in the studio. Um, I'll be looking for ideas four videos. So if you have those, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, we, uh, we're taking a trip pretty soon to Puerto Rico. We got set up with uh, quite a few different potters and artists. So we're going to do some videos about other artists. Uh, very excited about that. So, all right. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. I haven't said that stuff in a long time. That's funny. That feels weird. But yeah, excited to, uh, to get back on the YouTube video making train. See you guys in the next one. Shoo!